What's going on YouTube? 93 Sports News back at y'all with another video. I'm here to do a follow-up video on Jason Whitlock, aka Jason Whitlock. Um, with him and Chris Broussard getting into it on his show the other day about LeBron James and Jason Whitlock feeling that pretty much in a nutshell that people who are uh Black people who are wealthy are uh, oblivious to racism and they don't suffer any racism. I'm about to shoot that down in the video now. I'm not going to make this video too long because I can do this all day. Like I can do this for like 10, 15 minutes easily. But um, let me just throw out some examples for this coon, Jason Whitlock. Let's, let's start by going with uh, Colin Kaepernick. Now... Jason Whitlock, are you telling me right now that Colin Kaepernick is not experiencing any racism? <laughs> he's not experiencing no racism right now. He can't even get a job right now. All because he's all because he spoke out against injustice towards his people. So he's being punished and not able to get a job in the NFL. That's not racism. He didn't break any laws in this country. He didn't break any rules, team NFL rules. He just spoke about, spoke on issues that were concerning his community. But that's not racism. Okay, let me give you another one, Jason Whitlock. It's not racism what the L.A. Uh, Clippers players went through a couple years ago with Donald Sterling. That was, that's not racism. When Donald Sterling uh, got caught saying racial remarks. Not directly towards them, but they were um, they were directly involved in it because uh, he pretty much said that he didn't want any black people at his games. Which affected the families of the players. So that that's that's not racism. Okay, let's get another one. What about what happened just a couple of weeks ago with Mike Brown, the assistant coach of the Golden State Warriors, who um, got racially profiled uh, at the arena at Oracle Arena in uh, Oakland by the cops? That wasn't racial. That wasn't racially motivated. Racially motivated. I mean, come on now. Okay, what about Ricky Williams? What happened to him? Now, he was going fishing with uh, an ex-NFL player. I forgot which player it was. Um, if anybody know, y'all can drop it in the comment section. Um, he got stopped by the police. For no reason. They assumed that he was someone else, I guess. And they stopped him. He didn't experience any racism. I mean, I can go. I'm serious. I can go on all day with this. So when it's silly that you're gonna sit there and say that just because you make a certain amount of money that you are oblivious to racism, that it just doesn't it doesn't affect you. Yes, it does. Look what happened to uh, Andre Iguodala, the Warriors uh, basketball player that made comments. If I don't can't remember, check it out. It's on YouTube. Now he made some comments, and then if the the league uh, find him, so he can't say what he really want to say without getting fined. That's not an act of racism. Jason looked like you a damn fool. And it's people like you in our community, man, that is holding the rest of the black community back. Because you're willing to kiss people's ass and lick white people's boots to keep a paycheck. And I don't even know why you're talking about sports, man. You fat as shit. 
fat ass piece of slob looking motherfucker sitting up there critiquing players and your ass is 500 pounds and shit. Bet you if I kicked you in your stomach, pork chops fall out your ass, nigga. I mean, I just cannot believe what I what I heard from you, dude. I I thought Stephen A. Smith was the biggest cool. No, you took that title from him. You are the biggest coon. Hands down. I wasted enough time on your fat ass. 93 Sports News. I will holler. Peace.